Just last month, former super middleweight champion Callum Smith suffered the first loss of his professional career, stopped in seven rounds by fearsome puncher Artur Betterbeev in a fight for the IBF, WBC, and WBO light heavyweight titles. It was a tough defeat for Smith, who had previously gone undefeated through 31 fights. Here's what he had to say after the loss. In the aftermath, Smith has been assessing his future. With Better Beef and WBA champ Dmitry Bivol on a collision course to unify the division, Smith knows another world title shot is unlikely. However, there is one fight that could motivate him to lace up the gloves again, a domestic dust-up with compatriot Anthony Yard. Yard himself is coming off a world title loss to Better Beef in 2019 but he has rebounded with four straight wins to restore his standing as a top contender and remains one of the biggest punchers in the 175-pound ranks with his concussive power. A battle between Smith and Yard shapes up as an intriguing clash of styles. Smith, the boxer high on vengeance, versus Yard, the knockout artist, and it would no doubt generate plenty of buzz amongst UK fight fans. The prospect of the matchup has been floated by rival promoters Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, who are planning a unique 5 vs 5 card featuring some of their top British talent squaring off. Saudi backers are on board with the concept, and an official announcement is expected in early March to confirm the bouts. Smith has made it clear he would be very interested in facing Yard, even if no titles are at stake. When asked about it by Boxing News, he stated, that's a good fight. Definitely, that's a fight outside the world. Champions, that's probably one of the better fights to make in the division. It depends on timing and whatnot, but it's definitely a fight that motivates you. He continued, we could fight for a world title and the same for other domestic fights, but with how the division lies now, that doesn't look possible anytime soon. So I think that's something you've got to get in there and fight for pride and if it's a good fight, it's a good fight. Yard is expected back in action on February 10th against veteran Marco Nikolic as he continues to shake off ring rust. But all signs point to him being open to facing Smith afterwards. It's the kind of event that presents a big opportunity despite no belts being up for grabs. For Smith, who has questioned his motivation without a championship on the line, it seems that a yard matchup would give him the extra incentive he's seeking. A fight between two of Britain's best 175 pounders in a domestic grudge match has all the makings of a fan-friendly tear-up. And for the winner, it could propel them right back to the front of the queue for another world title shot. Especially if Baderbiev and Bival each hold a portion of the crown after their highly anticipated showdown. Smith already acknowledged it would be a quality event, saying, there's a lot of good fights out there for me regardless of the decision I make. But look, there's a lot of good fights out there for me regardless of what decision I make. And good fights are exactly what fans want to see. Smith Yard promises explosive action and high stakes, despite no belts on the line. For his part, Smith still seems uncertain if he will continue fighting or hang up the gloves. He mentioned possibly taking time off for his wedding this summer before deciding on the future. But Yard could be the factor that sways the calculated crusher to stick around. It's the kind of motivation he needs at this stage, with Smith saying, it's definitely a fight that motivates you. We'll have to wait and see if the promoters can finalize this mouthwatering matchup for the upcoming card. One thing is clear, UK boxing fans would turn out in droves. An all-British showdown between Smith and Yard would be must-see entertainment pitting two of the sport's biggest punchers against each other. When analyzing the intriguing matchup between British light heavyweight sluggers Anthony Yard and Callum Smith, one of the most fascinating aspects is the clash of styles. While both men possess serious power and the ability to end a fight suddenly with a single punch, they go about their work in very different ways. Let's start with Anthony the Lion Yard. When you think of Yard's fighting style, the first thing that comes to mind is his massive punching power. This guy carries absolutely devastating one-punch knockout power in both hands. Of Yard's 28 professional wins, 25 have come by way of knockout. He isn't just overwhelming his opponents with volume or gradually breaking them down. 
More often than not, when Yard wins, it comes via spectacular and sudden knockout stemming from his frightening power. Beyond the sizzling power he carries in both fists, Yard's general approach could be described as athletic and aggressive. He is an excellent athlete overall, with quickness and good coordination for a light heavyweight. Yard likes to press forward behind a long, pumping left jab before unleashing his lethal left hook and straight right hand in combinations. Defensively, he relies on upper body movement to slip punches without overly relying on footwork. While Yard, as a boxer, still has a lot of ground to cover, there is no denying his blend of world-class athleticism and devastating power. It's what makes him one of the most dangerous men in the division each time he steps into the ring. As for Callum Mundo Smith, we have a very different style and approach overall. Where Yard applies mostly forward pressure, Smith is perfectly content to operate off the back foot and box behind his piston-like left jab while keeping things at range. Standing 6 3 inches with an impressive 78-inch reach, Smith's dimensions allow him to establish distance very well as an effective outside fighter. He displays excellent fundamentals working behind the left jab before following with accurate combinations. Footwork and mobility are also clear strengths for Smith, who seldom stays stationary for very long while managing distance masterfully. And while perhaps not carrying Yard's truly frightening one-punch power, Smith himself brings underrated pop, which has seen him score some nasty knockouts. 21 of his 29 wins have come inside the distance, and he has enough venom in his shots to take full advantage and finish hurt opponents. While Yard is the more aggressive hitter who applies constant pressure, Smith is the consummate boxer who likes to control fights at a distance until openings emerge to unload his underrated power. Based on the clash and styles here, typical shorthand analysis would say that Smith needs to use his boxing ability to control range and frustrate the offensive-minded Yard over the course of an entire fight. If he trades power shots recklessly, he risks getting clipped by a match-ending bomb from the Lion. For Yard, the recipe for success lies in cutting off the ring effectively and getting inside Smith's jab to land his own bruising blows. If he can pressure Smith successfully without marching into his crisp counters, he has the fight-altering firepower capable of producing a sudden stoppage if cleanly landed. No matter how it unfolds, a collision between Smith's textbook skills and sharp punching accuracy versus Yard's athletic gifts and shocking power has all the ingredients for fireworks. Each man is capable of seizing control or ending the fight abruptly at any moment. So stay tuned right here as we hope to bring you official confirmation in the coming weeks about Callum Smith versus Anthony Yard, along with the rest of that stacked Saudi card. I can't wait for this one. It promises to deliver intensity and dramatic action from the opening bell. Will Smith return to glory? Can Yard score the signature win he craves? Two huge punchers are set to slug it out with their careers potentially on the line. Thanks for watching, and remember to hit subscribe for all the latest developments on this 50 50 pick a matchup that no fight fan will want to miss. Signing off until next time.